he can pull it off? Well, Carlos is in a dreadful form at this point of time. If you see his last six test innings, he's managed to get just one double-digit figure score against his name. So he's not having the confidence there in the middle, but then Callis is doing the right thing. He's rotating his strike and staying there on the other end, getting a good look at that wicket and trying to make a match of it because it's Callis who's going to be the wall for India. If India can crack Callis there on this particular wicket, even though he's not in form, but if Callis' wicket is there in India's pocket before lunch, I think South African dressing room would be a bit nervous. But as of now, Cal is there in the middle, though out of form. Uh, Cal just needs one innings there in the middle to get himself back in red hot form. And I think it's time, the right time for him from a South African perspective to click on this particular track. But the Indian fans and Indian bowlers there would be hoping that they can see the back yes. of Callis before uh, lunch. Maybe he can just stretch it and uh, lead it to a draw. Finally, Adil, very quickly now, uh, is it really gettable, three sessions, seven wickets for India being realistic in terms of scalping wickets? Can they really do it? Well, surely, on this particular track, yes, the wicket is offering something for the bowlers. And I think the Indian bowlers have bowled well, if you see, in both the innings. And the, all the three bowlers that have bowled, Zach, along with uh, Ishant and Mohamed Shami, giving him good company, mm -hmm. all three have bowled well on this particular track. It's for the spinners to come in and just let the pace bowlers relax a bit. I think the spinner should be pressed into action only when it's required, uh, once the South African tail comes into play or when, if, the Indi if either of the Indian bowlers gets injured. But mm -hmm. at this point of time, I think India surely...